G'day, and welcome to my City Skylines 2 mod series. Click on the playlist in the description below to check out the other videos in this series. In this video, we're going to take a look at another of certainly my must-have mods in City Skylines 2, and I would imagine this would be the case for a lot of modders and detailers out there. It was definitely one of my go-to mods in CS1, so I'm excited that we'll now have it in CS2, and it's the Find It mod by the amazing community modder TDW. So we're in the Paradox Mods menu here, and if you want to see more information on Paradox Mods in general, how to create playsets, and all good things like that, check out my video on Mastering Modding, I'll link to it in the description below. So we're on the featured page here, I've already gone ahead and added the mod to my playset for this series. You can see I also have Unified Icon Library there, that's a dependency for this mod, and quite a few other mods, so I just leave it there and then swap the other mods in and out. So we can just click on Find It Beta here. Once we're in, we get a raft of info on the mod, some screenshots, the tags, the mod info with the total number of subscribers, likes, file size, mod version, and the suggested game version. One thing I forgot to mention in my previous mod video, always smash that thumbs up icon when you're installing a mod you like, as that helps the modding creators, and we like to show them some love for all their hard work as well. We can click on TDW's name here and we'll be taken to all the mods they've created, just two at the moment. Down in the description, we can see all the information about what the mod does, we can see the Control F hotkey there, which lets us open the Find It panel up quickly. Or we can just click on this magnifying glass icon here, which those who've used this in CS1 will be familiar with. We're also getting a 2 for 1 deal here, because Find It Beta comes with a built in picker mod as well. We can use the Control P hotkey. or the little picker icon we can see down here now as well. Then TDW has put in a shout out to Yen Yang, Algernon and Chameleon here for contributing to the development of the mod as well. A real joint effort which is super cool to see. In terms of features, the mod uses similar category lookups as the base game. So like the dev UI if you had that enabled and tried it out, but much much more user friendly for sure. And now we even have categories so we can switch between networks, signature buildings, vehicles, so much better. We get a far more intuitive search ability with this, it stays open while we're placing assets which is really handy. Particularly if you're placing down multiple different assets from say a certain residential style, so as you can see here I search for the phrase waterfront, which are the new beach CCP assets. We get a long list of those in all the different levels and size configurations here and we can plop away. Now one thing to note at this point is that I have the ability to plop these not because of find it itself. You will also need another mod like plop the growables if you're wanting to place down residential, industrial, commercial and office assets or reco just if you weren't sure about that. So I have plopped the growables installed and it just means I don't have to zone under these. I can just plop them down and not worry. And that mod also has an option to freeze levels so if I want to, I can stop buildings leveling up so when I plop them, they stay that way which is super handy if you're a detailer and you were going for a specific look. So yeah, you do need an additional mod if you want to place these down, otherwise you're likely to get an error or the asset might just abandon if it's a Rico asset, something along those lines. Just a good one to note. Another really neat feature is that tool options like Treat Controller and Line Tool are fully supported. So what that means is that if I want to jump over and place some trees while I'm detailing, or maybe select a prop and then use Line Tool, the Find It panel will remain open so I don't have to keep opening it back up as I go. Sounds simple enough, but it's an absolute lifesaver. There's now thumbnails for the assets as well. I didn't use the Thunderstorm version personally, but I think word on the street is that it didn't 
didn't have the thumbnails as there was an issue trying to integrate them I think. Not an expert though so I won't pretend I know. <laughs> but the good thing is that that's no longer an issue now. We get little icons so we can see what type of prop or asset it is. Not all of them have the exact pictures I've noticed but they're good enough to get a pretty good idea. I think the version on Thunderstore just had box icons so there was no telling the difference between things so this is really handy. And who knows, in the future we might get little icons of each one, or if we get access to assets, creators might upload images of the assets so we can see what it looks like. Who knows what the future holds. We can also mark our favourites so if we use something all the time, just mark it favourite and you can quickly access it in the favourites tab, saving a ton of time there as well. And of course the integrated picker which I mentioned before. We then come down to planned features so again this mod is in beta form so that means that TDW isn't finished yet. So we can see here some of the planned additions in the future. So support for multi-tab like we had in CS1 so we can open up multiple tabs and flip between them. You could have say a certain prop in one, some house assets in another, flip between them as you go. Brilliant addition. Custom tagging as well, adding your own tag so you can sort and tag stuff to find it easier. And with that will come cross compatibility with Skype there too. More advanced filtering options, customizable panel size so you can make it bigger or smaller, and asset information when you hover over an asset. So some really cool stuff coming down the line. I think this mod is not just a must have today, but certainly we can see there is more to come as well. Then down the bottom we have some additional notes here, a reminder that the mod's in beta but it should be stable, and to jump into the City Skylines modding discord if there are any issues you want to raise. I'll drop a link for that below, great discord to be in if you're into mods and modding. And there we have it, all things find at beta in City Skylines 2. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks for watching and happy modding!